welcome back to Flywheel Films. Jordan here, Luke here, Fly Miata World Headquarters here. We are at Fly Miata Summer Camp and we're gonna look at every car that showed up and tell you our thoughts, our favorites, and some- Raw, unfiltered content Raw, here. unfiltered content, some constructive criticism. We'll see where this goes. It's all constructive. It's all constructive. Respect all builds. He didn't even bring a Miata. We'll see, <laughs> we'll see what he brought in a second. <laughs> So, Luke, welcome to Fly Me Out of Summer Camp. This Thank you. This is your second year? Second year, year nice. number two. Number two, and this year you didn't even bring a Miata. No. We'll get to that pretty much right away here. So, there is a lot of Miatas that showed up. I don't know how many yet. I'm gonna count them, throw the number right there. But uh, we're gonna start over here on this little strip right here. This is the special row of latecomers. Um, but this is Ellie Jolly's Miata, NB. She's Spitting flames. She's pretty quick on the track, as you can see by the flames. That is proof. This is an NC1, Highland Green. Uh, maybe Nordic Green, they had two different green colors. NB, this is Wilson Jolly's NB. There's Wilson right there. He's a fun track driver. This is a special color, very rare. This, uh, Luke, explain yourself. It is um, the rarest spec of all Miatas. Yeah, really, okay. That's yeah, right, see, so it's a 2015. It's obviously a Mazda. Um, NC4, so okay. just before they made the ND, um, you know, Mazda decided to make something special. Yeah, so they made this, and they're like, wait, never mind, and then they made the ND. That's right, okay. yeah. <laughs> well, they perfected it, and then they wanted to move to the ND. Well, someone didn't get the memo, threw the engine behind the seats, and they yeah. were like, wait, 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 wait. Things got crazy. It weighs about as much as an NC, you know? So. Really? <laughs> <laughs> now, what's funny is, uh, I mean, this is funny, but there is a GTS Miata, but that's an ND trim. That's right. Uh, so you that's know. the GT with all the club goodies. Yeah, it's basically um, my Miata, but in D version. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is spicy. I'm sure you had a comfortable ride through the mountains. It was very comfortable. And it was lovely. You flat earthers, that <laughs> shirt is great. <laughs> nice. I just want people, if they want to make fun of somebody, they know who to go to. Exactly. Uh, this is one of the lifted NAs. I am really thrilled about this trend. I don't know why, but I am. Built, not bought. Love that. Very much so. Dude, the interior is kind of sweet on that. Yeah, okay. Now we're on the back row. Um, NB, NB, yellow NC right there. No. <laughs> <laughs> that H2 though. You know what I think of when I see a yellow H2? Transformers. America? Oh. From 2007. <laughs> yes. Which is America. <laughs> oh, you mean the GM commercial? <laughs> <laughs> the GM commercial slash Lincoln Park. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I guess we should look at this row too because we're walking between them. Um, Couple NDs. Wait, can we do the fist test? Oh, oh. I want to do the fist test. On what, the ND? The stock, oh. Okay, yep, that's uh. Passes the fist test. Scooter has a heck of an exhaust. What is in the engine bay, by the way? Okay, well, yeah, I can see the ground. ITBs. ITVs, I think. ITVs. That's sweet. Oh, ITVs. he was here last year. Yeah, that's that's cool. Okay, he's the that's... guy that was handing out the trumpet stickers with the ITVs. That's on. right. <laughs> I still have his sticker somewhere. Oh, I see a Bucky's mug, so that's pretty cool. Are they from Texas? Yes, sir. Lone Star <laughs> State. Uh, here's an NC. Do you want another fist test? This, this is this is an NC. This is the other fist test. This is a stock ride height NC. Pounded. Pounded. <laughs> This is wild, yeah. Um, there's a so couple not of these here. Now, what's funny is he's missing these. I should have brought some and hand, to hand them out. I have 3D printed uh, fill-ins there because basically they, they're one-time use, and so when you replace your windshield, those break when they pull out and replace the windshield, and then huh. you can never find them again. That sounds like a very German thing to do. <laughs> yeah, uh, funny enough, the NC is pretty much Ford and Mazda, so not German at all, but. <laughs> <laughs> NAs, I do like the blue color. What do they call that? Mariner blue, I think? Yo, the quad exhaust on the ND. Okay, yeah, I want to talk about this one. This one's cool, the quad exhaust. I like this spoiler here. That's probably my favorite ND spoiler. This interior is fantastic. Is this yours? Nice, really like it. <laughs> Carbon fiber, everything. Yep, red accents, yep. Okay, there's some goals here, yeah. Nice. Good There's arrow. More carbon to come. I haven't gotten to more carbon. Yeah. Okay. Well, you got some work to do. We'll check in. We'll check in later when you have the rest of the carbon. <laughs> Big Wang. 
Nice chair holders at the top there. Love the Soul Red, especially the second gen Soul Red. That's what that is. This is the BBS Brembo Recaro. Yep, full Ooh. BBR package. Lovely. Yeah, love Recaros. Uh, do you miss yours? <laughs> Slightly. <laughs> Slightly. Um, that's a trailer. <laughs> Keep that in your mind later because I'll show you what towed that in. And that's sick. I don't know what that is, but uh, so so maybe I should mention we were thinking about having our favorites. Um, so they're actually doing a voting contest: favorite NA, B, N, C, and D. I'm throwing in favorite non Miata. Uh, we'll see what that is, but um, yeah, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I mean, there are only like two non Miatas. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, there's a Fiesta ST over there. That's Austin's vote, but he's not here, so it doesn't get a vote. Fiesta NC4. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is a fantastic color. Color Beautiful. matched hard top, tan interior, and this engine bay. If anyone wants to know what it looked like from the factory, it's like this. This clean. <laughs> Even better from the except, factory. Except, yeah, that wasn't exactly factory. Should have been, but, you know, turbo all the things. Uh, all right, let's go on the next hill. Now, imagine having an ND without a turbo and popping the hood. Wait, what's, what's in this? Objects and mirror just got chopped. Chopped. Good grief. <laughs> this guy has a blip shift license plate. So, you know what that means? He makes shirts. It's pretty cool. This is Anthony McClinton. Although he popped his hood without a turbo, so I'm not really sure why he did that. That's kind of All silly. this space? This is turbo space. That's free he real estate. Free real estate. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the, the washer fluid, he says he wants to replace this. I told him, I either want like a- I thought a, this was a fish tank. That's what I was going to say. I want an even clearer one to have fake fish in it. A koi pond in my NC. That's my goals. Uh, Donut Media, can you help? Yeah. <laughs> and he uh, rode up here with this NB, which is white. White NBs are actually pretty rare, um, but there's actually three here. Or there were three at the track, which is crazy because they're super rare. Um, what else is here? Raphael's freaking ratted out. Uh, so... <laughs> He showed up to the track yesterday late. He showed up this morning late as well. And uh, he pulled his fender out with his wheels because he got wide wheels, slammed his car, didn't roll his fenders. Never was an issue in the canyons, but as soon as he hit the track, his first corner on the track, he ripped his uh, fender. So center a little too hard there, bud. A little hard. Here's another couple of NBs, white one, rare. Beautiful Love color. this color, whatever it's called, something, I forget, but Mazda Speed with all the Tupperware like that a lot. Tupperware. And the interior, is anything? I don't know, those are seat covers or like custom, it looks like seat covers. Uh, oh, it's like orange carbon fiber in there. Nice. So, by the way, throw in the comments while you're watching this, which cars you like, what your critiques are. They can be constructive or you can just be annoying. I don't know, uh, <laughs> YouTube comments, right? But um, yeah, we, we're curious what your favorites are. We have our own favorites in mind and we're gonna tell you them at the end and uh, yeah. Wow, we're like not even halfway done. There's so many Miatas here. This is yeah. great. It's like the best thing ever. I think we have about like 40, 40 something cars. <laughs> I'd say no, maybe 50. 50. Yeah. Well, yeah, we, they saw the number earlier, but this one's interesting. <laughs> is this a drift thing? Because the front wheels are like wider inkies. Lots of uh, angle there. Sick camber, Some bro. Sick camber. The back is just stock Miata wheels. Plasti dipped mirrors. Um, yeah. It's pretty cool. It's got a pretty crazy sounding exhaust. It does sound good. I was gonna say this is the <laughs> three fast, out the three furious there. Miata, but it <laughs> three, does sound yeah, good. <laughs> three fast, three furious. Yeah, uh, it's it's pretty cool. Not gonna lie, I I dig it for its own reasons. Um, we have another NC stock ride height. Uh, this one is hilarious for excessive so reasons. reasons. Sailing. I was like, oh, that's a funny NC joke. You know, it's a boat. Right. Um, he's actually a sailor. Literal sailor. A literal sailor. He doesn't He doesn't even know that it's a boat joke. Sailing association, yeah. He's, this is his license plate because he's a sailor. He doesn't even realize he drives a land yacht. Or maybe that is intentional, I don't know. But it's like a tier three joke at that point. And apparently the only reason why he's here for this summer camp is because he wasn't gonna go sailing. Every other yeah. summer, he's sailing. <laughs> <laughs> he's usually not here because he's sailing. Instead he sailed out here with his car. Uh, purple. His hair is purple, his shirt is purple, his shoes are purple. This is, uh, so what's interesting, Luke, at the track yesterday, we had four breakdowns, four times cars had to be towed off the Only track. Only four? Two cars. Ah. This car twice, 
and Wilson's yellow NB twice. <laughs> but I mean, Wilson's if, NB was fixed by the end of the day and yo, kept, kept doing it. The best part of this? Oh. The absolute best part of this. Look. NAs always get the love. Oh. Nothing but love for this one. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yep, I like that car. Uh, over here, just a classic red NA. Something special about that. Partially because my boss in high school had one, and I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. I was like, how can you make that much money to have a red sports car? <laughs> I found that he bought it for like three grand, but uh, <laughs> shout out to the Cardinals badge right there, St. Louis. Uh, although I guess they're not St. Louis anymore. I don't really know, I don't follow sports. That's a cool new gray color. This one's pretty rad. You know he's serious when he's got track stickers That's everywhere. Right. Laguna Seca. This is back. because the roll bar, so this is a really interesting thing because usually power retractable hardtops can't do racing, but he has it where the top can go down and then bars can be added from the trunk to the roll bar to be compliant, which is really sick. Uh, wide fender flares, venting up front, and actually, yeah, this is the guy with the seat delete. So he only has one seat in here. Oh, which dang. Is super cool. Yeah. Those are all functional mods. Serious, serious build. Uh, I like that car a lot. That's that's in the contenders for favorite NC. This is a Mazda Speed. Love it. Factory turbo. And uh, oh boy, another uh, here, another fist test. I think she'll pass. Oh my god, this is oh, gonna be she'll the pass record. And then some. I, have, I have room to do this. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah, stock NC with the 16s, so even more fender. He could take that on some of the Colorado trails, honestly. So we call that dead cat space? Yeah. I think it's dead cats. Yeah. <laughs> this, these guys came from Oregon with this trailer. Super cool. I like the matching combo. I wish the wheels were like literal matching. That'd be super cool. It's actually a motorcycle trailer. The trailer weighs 150 pounds dry, which is pretty wild. Trailer's got more aero than the car, so that's so interesting. This is still lighter than an NC with the trailer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. Uh, <laughs> And then Killer B, this is a pretty cool ND. This is my friend Danny and Mix. Uh, well, Mix specifically. He's from St. Louis, and Danny and Mick went to Mizzou, I think. So shout out to my alma mater back in Columbia. And uh, yeah, just some wild colors. He's had a lot of interesting cars over the years. The interior is beautiful. This is a very highly coveted ND interior. Luke's favorite dark red. That's right. I like the wheel. Yeah, that's, that's good. Um, let's go We're back coming to here. the best, one oh, of the best. Yeah, this is this is my favorite favorite NA. I am gonna have two favorite NAs because for the purists, they're gonna hate that this is my favorite. But honestly, I don't really care. I adore this thing. This is what we call tastefully clapped, right? Tastefully clapped. That's right. It's got the snorkel, functional, functional snorkel. You can tell he's committed because this is what you think the uh, air filter here, baby. Yeah, I don't know. It's It seems serious enough. Anyway, it's a closed intake system. And general grabber all-terrain tires, so that's how you know you're serious. The wide fender flares, the spare tire on the roof, or the, the trunk. A bunch of switches in there. It's pretty cool. I don't know what they do. Honestly, fake switches would be fine too. I, <laughs> for all I care, it's awesome. The rear bumper delete replaced by like a bar. Uh, yeah, this is this is my winter car goals. Yo, do you think it's the ejecto Cito in case he goes into the river too deep? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just throws you out <laughs> on an inflatable. Uh, Star Wars sticker, so I really like this person. Join the resistance. Yeah, Star Wars fan. That's pretty sweet. Interesting shifter in there. That's but, a literal stick. Nice. Yeah, nice, <laughs> nice NB. Uh, another nice NB. This one, Luke, this is a special oh, is, edition. Is this Dolphin Gray? Dolphin Gray Mica. Beautiful. Special edition from 2011. One of 750. I almost bought one of those. Yep, you almost bought Jeff's. That's right. Uh, <laughs> Jeff had the other color. There's two grays that came out that year. This is the lighter gray, the Dolphin Gray Mica. Only 375 in this color. And then undetermined how many are actually automatic versus manual. This is the automatic. But he has put his in the car show at number one bone stock like from the factory as it was intended by the engineers as god intended why would you change it uh i do i do like the color honestly even that was a factory option believe it or not um yeah pretty pretty sweet he even took this on track so really big props to that uh is this brad lawler's this is a this is a very clean na I don't know which one's his but he has like this bag maybe his is over there it's like identical but Yo, yeah check out this interior condition of the shift knob the boot 
Ooh. the lever. This and is the a seats. classy spec. This is like, like as they intended. Because for those who don't know, the NA Miata was kind of designed to be like the Lotus Elan, mm. and this is very perfect Lotus spec. Is this British racing green? British racing there green with a yeah. tan interior. Uh, more NAs, a lot of NAs out here. This is great. This is Ethan's, Winter tires. Ethan's car. <laughs> um, yeah. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Fart. <laughs> <laughs> he said it's never been washed, ever. Um, the checks. previous owner wrote that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> little skirt. I like this thing. Uh, I like this little whatever this is at the end here. That's kind of cool. Even the little rack thing doesn't bother me. Little skirt. Good, good plate. Skirt. Nebraska. I think maybe these guys came together. They're the ones that camped. This one towed the tent from Nebraska and he turboed it like the day before. So he, yeah, towed that, tra sorry, not the tent, the actual trailer over there. That's high commitment. Towed it from Nebraska. Uh, he did break down on track, but that's because ah. he didn't quite follow the instructions on the turbo <laughs> kit, so. But he um, made it here. Flying out of turbos are really good. Uh, just follow the instructions. Anyways, NC supercharged. Oh, is this the FM Cosworth? Things fantastic. This is. Yeah, makes me miss uh, Imad's. He's got the Kogeki wheels in bronze like those. I do wish they were a bit brighter bronze, but I'll... So that's why he was tailgating me last night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Keep up. He, that's why he was he was quick. Um, and this is one of the flying Miata cars. This is Mike, Mike Usri, Usre? I don't really know how to say his name, but this is his NC. Um, Y'all are so cute together. I, I just want to interject and say that. We're, we're like, besties. Same. His, his is very, pretty stock, um, but he will also be getting the turbo kit that was unveiled today. That's uh, right. It'll be unveiled in a few hours, but by the time this video goes up, it'll be, already be public. So we can talk about that. His, <laughs> he will have the turbo kit. Someday I will have the turbo kit, maybe. Um, but this is Ghosty. This is uh, number 18 in the car show. Please vote. I've got my front plate on for some reason. As you can see, it's also tastefully clapped. Tastefully clapped, as they say. <laughs> the red calipers, I got my slotted rotors. I'm trying to think of what I've done since last year. Last year, I didn't win the car show, but maybe I have a chance. I refreshed my gauges. I did my red needles with new actual oil-based paint. Um, the new shift boot and e-brake boots. Um, the cat, I'm hoping that helps me somehow. Got coconut there on the, on the, the roof. And uh, yeah, the black plates. Oh, I have new wheels since last year. That's that's true, and that's about it. The brakes and stuff. Yeah. So not not a ton of things. Oh, this is important. You removed the cardboard from your shifter. That's right. I did. Yeah. Uh, but it makes an annoying noise. So I'm thinking about cardboard reverting going it. back in. Cardboard's going back in. That's that right. was soundproofed. See, this is proof that engineers don't always know what they're doing. They really yeah. don't. Um, Let the aftermarket sort out your cardboard needs. Yeah. So speaking of changing cars up. Let's go to the final section of the actual flying Miata cars over Best here. Best for last. Best for last, baby. Uh, so this is Keith Tanner's car out right front here. V8 monstrosity. Not just any V8, mind you. That is a LS3, I believe. So this was in the Camaro Z28. Oh, looks nice. In the early 2010s and um, she scoots. Yeah. I think he said it was around like 600-ish horsepower uh stupid it's ridiculous it's enough yeah it's enough <laughs> nice clean na here just proper clean it's got the really cool like tonneau cover that goes over even the passenger area so that's uh interesting i don't know what they call that there's a factory option i think so look at that i think it was you know i don't know correct me if i'm wrong but uh then we have travis's nd if i had gone the nd route it would be this maybe this not this beautiful. color but every single ground effect down to these little things. And I probably wouldn't have gone with these wheels exactly, but the Willwood brake kit and my goodness, this is just perfect. Even down to the little accent thing. For those of you who have an NDs, and if you don't have that, you should do that. It's my favorite thing on in the interior, just the little, the little things. And then this, this is my favorite piece oh, here. Oh, the spoiler looks fantastic. Yep, all the way around three piece because the trunk is so narrow on the ND. <laughs> yeah, really like that. This is one of Brandon's NA Miatas. This is one of my favorite Miatas because it's functional. The gauges in the uh, <laughs> glove box. And then bike rack. you have your mountain bike needs met right here. Yeah, this is, I adore this. 
turbocharged. I did. So if you guys watched my track day video, yeah. the, I rode passenger seat in this thing and was absolutely terrified in good ways. <laughs> um, Brandon's a great driver. So this thing's really cool. This is one of their like actual show cars because it's so freaking pristine all the time. The interior has suede inserts on the seats. Um, oh, I just love all of that. That's pristine. I see why it's a show car. Although, I, hot take, I really hate the Hard Dog logo. I like Hard Dog as a company, but the logo to me kills every car. Now, this is... Uh, this is the Miata that's always down to party. <laughs> Miata from hell. <laughs> Look at the chunky girl Miata. <laughs> yeah, the diffuser, like good grief. This thing's like built to like climb up Pikes Peak before they paved it. Uh, <laughs> The interior is nuts. Well, there's not really an interior, I guess. This is the Miata that bullies your WRXs. <laughs> yeah. Also V8 swapped, of course, because why not? V8 all the things. America, Corvette. Yeah, exactly. Oh man, I love this thing. Yeah, this is uh, what, Matt's car, I think. Um, wild. <laughs> Size does matter. I repeat myself. I repeat myself. <laughs> and this thing, half the trunk's a sub. Kind of want to hear the sound system on it. Um, yeah, another development car basically that they use to test things on, and they do a lot of testing here for those people who don't, who don't know. But uh, that's pretty much it, Luke. What's what's your your takeaways, your favorites? My takeaways, I think it's remarkable to see uh, there are many types of Miata owners. There, there are really Miata are. owners that are track junkies. There are Miata owners that go off-roading and have snorkels. It's an extremely diverse you crowd. You can do whatever you want with the car. And actually everyone's thrilled. Like there's no like hate or shaming. I mean, there's some shaming, but it's like fun. It's playful shaming. <laughs> it's playful shaming, yeah. Even I was shamed. Yeah. Um, which I mean, fair. Yeah. You know, it's a it's, it's a weird looking Miata. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think the Miata community is great. Every time I go to the summer events, I'm just like, oh, this is probably one of the best platforms and the best communities out there. I, I agree. What There's, are your takeaways? That's, I mean, same. Um, I'm thrilled with how many have showed up and this is only my second year too. We went last year together and then uh, that's when we met Anthony, ran to the Airbnb together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so he scored the same Airbnb again. We, we got a different one, um, but this is, yeah, good turnout. So what, what's, your, what's your favorites? I think my favorite MB is gonna be the baby blue. Yeah. Factory. Yeah. Uh, that car is mint. Um, it has better paint it's than kind of by 2015. Mint, literally. Yeah. <laughs> literally mint. Yeah. <laughs> kind of smelled like it too. Yeah. Uh, so I think that's going to take my vote. Um, I'll probably vote for Anthony's ND mostly just because it looks like my old ND and I miss that. Sentiment. Yeah. That's right. That's valid. Um, and then the NA is the uh, the party animal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, echo you on the NA. That is my favorite one. Haters or not, that is. That's how I would want my NA. Um, granted, if I if money was no object, I'd have two NAs, and one another one would be more classy, like like Brad's um, uh, British Racing Green. <clears throat> but there's also some cool NAs, like that one on the trailer over there. Um, there was a K-swapped one; they actually left sadly, but that is also top of the list. NB will have to be Wilson's. That special yellow is amazing. It's super rare. I Kinda love it. Kind of looks like P, doesn't it? Luke doesn't like it. I yeah, love it. Not my favorite, <laughs> but uh... genuinely, that's the NV I would leave here in. NC, uh, obviously, you know, ghosty. But but if I can't vote for my own, it's uh, that little, yeah. If I can't vote for my own, it's that special one over there, the the wide body kind of track one with the seat delete. That would be a riot. And uh, or in... the NC that has the special custom paint. That's right. The blue. That, that one's really cool. I like the bright colors. I love all the people who brought up the bright colors. Shout out to the 30th anniversary orange. That is a cool one, but um, the my- pumpkins. The pumpkins, yeah. The pumpkins, yeah. My favorite ND would be Travis's. Maybe you're not supposed to vote for a flying Miata car. He's not even in the car show. By the way, there's a car show, so everyone's voting, but uh, can't vote for his, but that is my favorite. So now I have to find the runner up somewhere, which I'll, I'll do at some point. But um, yeah, what's your favorite ND? Uh, I think Anthony's. Anthony's or ah, yeah, that's the right. same one. Yeah, yeah. Said that. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's uh, that's it. That's all the cars that showed up today. What do you think? I think it's great. Fun time. It's fantastic. Yeah, we'll we'll probably come next year. Luke will 
You better sell the Boxster, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just show up in a different convertible. You're not allowed to buy yeah. and sell cars like a mod. <laughs> That's his thing. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so yeah, we'll uh, we'll see you next year. Check out all the other videos we're doing on this. Um, Flying Miata has a whole video on their channel that I helped out with. Definitely I obviously, check that out. I obviously did another video on my own channel of this whole you know road trip out here and stuff. It's stunning. Can't wait to do the Mesa tomorrow morning. That's gonna be gorgeous because I missed that last year. So. And about 40 degrees cooler. It's gonna be nice. There's still <laughs> snow up there. So, yeah. welcome to summer in Grand Junction or Palisade, technically wine country. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go eat. Cheers. See you.